Hello once again. Hey, it's Dan here in the workshop in Virginia. I wanted to give you a little uh, quick update on this SBOT 342. And you know from my last two videos, this thing has been giving me fits. And I'm nothing if, but, uh, if I'm not stubborn, so I just won't quit. So I've been fussing with this thing, fussing with this thing. So anyway, what I finally had to do, I had to get a new motor. Another guy on the forum said, get one of these Sunny Sky motors. It's uh, from Buddy RC, and uh, so I did that and got her in there. It's kind of pretty. You can see it's um, a nice blue anodized, but this thing here is actually a bolt-on prop adapter. So they're they're stronger than those kind that than the collet style. But the diameter of this shaft is not very big. It's only I don't know three millimeters, so six to one half a dozen another. But I got it on. Also went down to this smaller prop. This is a 9x6 instead of that crazy 10x7 they give you in stock prop. I've got a couple of uh, new batteries here. A couple of Turner G 1400 1.4s. These fit just perfectly in that slot. So that works out well. When I did all that and I put it up on the balancing sticks, I was able to take off. I had four weights up here. One here, one here, on the same on the other side. I was able to eliminate these two, so get them out of there. So with that being done, I got it all together. I took it to the field the other day, and the first time I flew it, nice hand toss, about 60-75% power, took right off, nice and straight. Flew wonderfully, I couldn't believe it, it was flying like a top. But when I finally brought it in, of course you know you can't just land it, <laughs> they don't roll out. They, these wheels, I guess these wheels are really just springs. They just bite in the grass. It pitches over. And I noticed that the motor mount, <clears throat> which I'd, I thought I'd glued, glued in from the last time, but it was still a little loose, so I didn't fly the second battery. But anyway, while I was the first flight, I was up. It did fly very well. It did loops. It'll do really tight loops. The loops are about, uh, I don't know, six feet in diameter. You just keep one loop after another, and you take off out of... <clears throat> out of those and you go out and do an aileron roll it'll roll like an alligator in a death roll so anyway it really really maneuvers so now all I gotta do is get my some real cronies at the field that know how to fly these things give me some tips on how to how to fly them so anyway that's the saga of the SBOC finally got it flying hope she hope she holds up if you build one I hope you don't have the same trouble I've had so anyway have a great day out here